What to do on days when you're feeling low. Many of you don't know this, but when I was in the Philippines, I actually launched my own business where we delivered beer. We called it uh, IBYB, I bring your beer. Uh, me and a couple of friends started it. We were really excited because at a certain point, we were just complaining in our rooms that like, God, it's so hot outside and I want a beer, but I don't want to have to go downstairs over two or three blocks, pick it up, walk back, get in the stuffy elevator and then come all the way back up. Because by that time, you smell bad, your skin feels sticky, uh, you're, you're sweaty, and so your clothes stick to you. And um, it's just, a, it's just not, not a good feeling to have to leave your dorm in the summertime, right? Or leave your room in the summertime. And so <clears throat> after a little while, we were just like, you know what? I bet we're not the only college kids who have this issue. Why don't we just start a beer delivery business? And we did. Um, I was able to have my, my mom bought some coolers from Costco and sent those over. And then we uh, sourced the vendor and we stuffed all the beers in the fridge. We launched a social media page. We launched a bunch of uh, posts and people were liking and commenting and saying like, oh, I'm excited for this, blah, 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 blah. We got our number on flyers. We flyered the school. We did all this prep work and saying we're, our big launch is going to be on this day at like 3 p.m. We got an extra phone with a chip in it just to make sure like we have a separate line for people to contact or call and order. And uh, we launch and I'm sitting there and I'm just like ready for the phone to ring. And that's like three. Five o'clock rolls around and no one has ordered anything. And so I lie down on my bed for a little bit and uh, I'm feeling pretty down because in my head I was, I was expecting this giant like pouring of orders and I wasn't sure if we we're going to have enough people ready to go deliver the beers fast enough. And like, we'd have to try and coordinate how many deliveries we can do on one go. Um, so I had all these logistics figured out and no one had bought anything. So I was lying down on bed, on my bed, feeling pretty sad and down about myself. And I was like, dude, I'm just like a failed entrepreneur. Like no one's buying anything. Uh, and then I had training. So I had my, my friend cover it. I went to training and then uh, on the way back, my brother calls me and he's like, hey, someone ordered. Um, uh, we're on our way to deliver right now. So he goes over, turns out a couple of basketball guys were having a little party. And so they didn't want to walk all the way across Taft either. And so they just bought it from us. We delivered to them. And that was our first sale. Uh, over the course of the month, we were able to make all of our money back and then a little bit. And we decided, you know, we weren't, we're not going to, all of us were students. So we're like, we're not going to keep the money. We're going to put it, reinvest it back in the business. But the thing we overlooked was that no one was really the dedicated entrepreneur in the business. So all of us had extracurriculars or a club. Um, they're like higher ups at clubs or president, whatever. So there's certain meetings you had to attend to. And then we just had times where no one was manning the phone. And then like I was training. So I was out also. And we ended up just not having people dedicate to the business. We didn't hire people out to make it happen. And then in a year or two, everyone was like, why don't we just carry beer in our store? So now beer is accessible all over Taft and that business idea is not good. So that was my, one of my first entrepreneur journey, entrepreneurial journeys. And I remember that feeling of feeling down and there's some days where that's going to creep back in. And it might creep back in if you're an entrepreneur, it might creep back in if you're a dad trying to do your own thing, you know, or it might creep in if you are a Taekwondo athlete and you've, you're training and training and training, and it just doesn't seem like you're making any headway. Well, there's a couple questions you should ask yourself. There's number one, do I have a good mentor? Do I have a, someone who's teaching me how to do this? Because it could be that you're training and training and training, but your training is super old school and so it's not very beneficial. Do I have a mentor who knows what he's doing, who's produced people or is, looks like he's helping me on an upper trajectory? If you're plateauing and your trainer is doing the same exact thing as before and it looks like none of his players are producing, well, maybe you got to go find another trainer. As an entrepreneur, you want to double check with a mentor or with peers that your idea is actually good. Because what if your idea is something dumb? Like, I'm going to try and sell um, monkeys with a handcuff, and then you can handcuff that to your backpack. And I'm going to try and sell monkey keychain handcuffs uh, that are that only work on real monkeys. It's like, well, how many people can actually buy that, and why would they even use it? Right? That's just not a good idea. And so you want to double check that your idea is good. If your idea is good, you got a good mentor and 
or you have even some sales already. Then on days that are down like that, especially uh, this more so from Taekwondo experience, it's important that you keep going. It's important that you don't let the way you're feeling now dictate your actions of today or tomorrow or however else. The fastest way to lose your way in this world is on a down day is that's the day you get off the horse. There's a saying by an Olympian and they said, uh, the mom never pushed me. She said her mom had never pushed her. But what her mom did say was, you can't quit on a bad day. You can only quit on a good day. So if you really want to quit, you have to decide to quit on a day where you felt like everything went well. And if that's the day you decide to quit, then you can quit. But if you quit on a bad day, that's just letting your negative decision dictate the outcome of your life. And you can't have that in life. You need to rise above that. So keep this in mind. I know life can get overwhelming. Life can get tough. And I understand there's moments in my life where that stuff happens too, where life's overwhelming. Sometimes you feel down. Sometimes you're unsure. There's talks of self-doubt. That stuff is always coming up. That comes up for everybody. That comes up for the strongest, biggest athletes. That comes up for the biggest, strongest entrepreneurs. Those talks of self-doubt, those feelings of being down, that happens to everybody. Everybody goes through that. The difference between people who are good at what they do and the people who are great at what they do is the people who are great do it anyway. Even if they're feeling down, even if they're feeling shitty, they still get up and do it. Like David Goggins, on my, on my algorithms now, David Goggins all over the place. I don't really know why. But the quote where he's like, sometimes, Joe, I just stare at my shoes for 30 fucking minutes in the morning because I don't want to fucking run anymore. And so David Goggins feels it. Usain Bolt feels it. Everyone has those days where they're down and they do not want to do what they got to do. They do not want to do it. But the reason these guys are so great is because they still do it anyway. And so that's my call for you guys today. I know some of you are athletes. I know some of you are fathers. Some of you guys are just trying to figure out your way in this world. Whatever it is that you're doing, there's certain things you know you got to do. And don't let your down day dictate that. Understand your down day will pass and eventually it's going to go back up. But the fastest way to lose your way is if you're on a down day and you get off the horse and you stop moving. Eventually, you'll pick back up. You'll be able to hit those up days with motivation so you're like really, really on fire and life will be good again. And just understand that life is just like that up and down, up and down, up and down. It's always going to be fluctuating. Just don't let those emotions dictate your day. You guys got this. This is my video for the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.